Hey guys, so what we're going to talk about today is uh, merge sort, the merge sort algorithm, and it's a recursive algorithm, and I've been talking about recursion um, a little bit on my channel lately. So what I have here is a visualization of the merge sort algorithm and what it's doing. So basically, as you can see, it's sorting small arrays and then merging them together. So you can see that this portion of the array is already sorted. Um, and now it'll merge that together with the next bit of the array that's already sorted. And if you speed it up, you can see sorts, merge, sort, and it merge. And then it will do that all the way through the end of the array. This is a good speed algorithm. It's a little bit slower than quick sort, um, but it still has good functionality. And from a high level, it seems a little bit easier to understand what's actually going on, uh, more so than something like quick sort. But anyways, how would you code this out? Let's take a look here. So we're going to have two methods that we make. One's called merge sort, and it's going to take a list. And then the next one is going to be uh, just merge. And it is going to take two parameters, a left and a right. OK, so let's start writing out this merge. So um, if list.length is less than or equal to 1, then we just want to return the list. Else, we want to set up three variables. A mid, mid is going to be um, list.length divided by 2, and then we'll call the dot floor on that. If you don't know what dot floor does, uh, I'll just show you real quick. Um, get rid of all this. And dot floor does if you have like a variable set up with, uh, and it's like five or four point five five six seven eight blah, blah. If you just call a dot floor on it, it just returns the rounded down four. It will round up at some point, but that's not until you get way way out in the decimal places. I think it's seventeen places out. I think it might round up never tried that before though, so you won't run into it much. Uh, and then our next variable is going to be left, and um, what the left is going to be, because you have to think about this, this is where the recursion starts. The left is going to return the merge sort, it'll recursively call merge sort, and it will be list, and we only want the zero to midpoint in the list, and then we want a minus one from that to get rid of that zero index. And then right will recursively call merge sort again. And it will be list with midpoint to list.length. I always misspell link. I got like dyslexia in that regard, like just for that one word. Uh, and then we'll recursively, and then we'll call merge. And we'll pass it in the left and right arguments in that. So our merge sort is pretty good so far. Now let's do this merge method. So what we want to do first is have some error handling. So if um, left dot empty return right and else if right dot empty return left. Else if and then this is where the real meat of this uh, method comes into play. So the first thing we want to do, if left dot first is less than right dot first, first element in each one of the arrays that are passed, uh, then what we want to do is take the left dot first and then add it to call merge again recursively and add in uh, as the two parameters it would be left one. To left dot l e n g t h and then right and there's only one other outcome right dot first we can put brackets around that oh this is why I'm putting brackets around it so let's say that you have uh, an element in an array one and then you have another element in an array two if you surround them both with brackets it will just make one array so that's what we wanted to do sorry I didn't explain that uh, and then plus recursively call merge left, right, and we'll take the one dot dot 
ride.link, L-E-N-G-T-H. Um, and then we'll end that. And I think that all of this is typed out properly. I might have made a spelling error. Let me go through and make sure real quick. Left.link is... At first glance, everything looks cool. We'll catch an error if we made a mistake. Um, we need a new array. So let's go r equals array dot new. And let's just do 30. And then we'll do a range of and, uh, and from 1 to 150. Uh, let's just pee this array to make sure everything went off. So this is our um, this is our unsorted array. Uh, exit. Um, Ruby merge. Okay, so our unsorted array is this. Cool. So now let's p merge sort and then pass in that r. Cool. So now here's our sorted array, and you can see that it worked yeah so it worked for sure so it's important to understand recursion that's a big part of kind of moving forward with uh, programming knowledge so I hope that this little lecture helped take it easy